I can't wait for all my friends to watch this video after they've already eaten the ceviche and realize what happened behind the scenes. I don't think I'm gonna have any more friends. <laughs> I thought I was going to be drinking alcohol when I filmed this, but I need energy, so it's coffee it is. So today I am going to make or show you how I make my uh, somewhat famous ceviche. Some of the items you will need, of course, is uh, the fish. I choose to do tilapia personally. I, I know you can do shrimp or whatever your cup of tea is, but I do the tilapia. I know some people are weird about that kind of fish. I don't care. You're gonna need some cucumbers, onions, limes, tomatoes, jalapenos, or whatever spicy pepper of your choice. You can always do serrano, habanero. Depends on how much you hate your friends, you'll put in that type of pepper. I love my friends, so I won't be making it that spicy. I uh, also put my hair up because my I shed like a dog. You know, I don't want my hair in other people's mouths, so there's that. Two, uh, of course, important items, a knife, and then this guy. I for whatever reason, chose to make ceviche the first couple times without this. <laughs> Biggest mistake ever. Squeezing 12 limes, that's gonna hurt like a motherfucker. I mean, maybe my wrist is a little bitch, but it hurts. So I picked this up from the store. It's been one of my most used items in the kitchen. So first things first, you're gonna want to squeeze the limes. Squeeze them until you're done squeezing. So typically they say about a cup of um, lime juice is good. I tend to try to go for as much as I can because I want to soak the vegetables separate from the tilapia. So I'm going to hopefully go for a cup and a half maybe. Three days later. Oh man guys, I'm really breaking a sweat over here. Chopping up all these lines. I'm making, sorry, what did you just say? Making all this mm -mm. juice. No, I squeezed the shit out of this. I don't know, it wasn't recorded so we will never know who actually did it. This mm -hmm. is bullshit. It's a tedious process, but it's well worth it. Some of you might be saying, why didn't you just buy lime juice? That's the cheater's way out. I ain't hearing it. All right, so we're gonna just... So many... <gasps> <laughs> okay, well that's a... So many limes died for the ceviche. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna cut the fish. Get that fish. Are you chopping it or am I chopping it? I'm gonna chop most of it. <laughs> I'm gonna chop most of it. Okay, I'm I'm weird. I'm gonna wash my hands again just because I wanna make sure. It's all about cleanliness. I'm not in shot, but I'm talking. <laughs> A little reprieve before you get to chop in the ceviche, cause or the tilapia I should say. Because once you do you have fish hands and you're you're committed. Take these puppies out. I like to stack them before I chop them. That one's, that one's much smaller than the other dude. Okay, let's see here. Oh, there you go, more like twins. Sorry, if I didn't mention this before, it is two pounds of tilapia that I do. And uh, if I fail to mention the other measurements as we're going through, I'll just put it down below in the description box. So I'm just gonna stack them here and that way it's like less work theoretically. I don't know, but you want to make them like cubes, like this size. Don't, don't be a little fucking, what's the word? What's the word when you're like cheaping people out? A fish? I don't know, Th there's a word for it. And I don't appreciate it when I go to a fucking restaurant and they give me like the smallest serving of it and i'm just like this is mostly vegetables you gave me lime vegetables so now we're gonna do some good chunks here anyways all right so here we go i don't know if this is the best way to do this honestly it's been a long time actually <laughs> did you just tell people to stack the fish <laughs> i did <laughs> I thought you are following it with, I don't know if this is the best way. <laughs> I did, yeah, I'm kind of questioning my, my choices, but we're going to just go for it, you know? How big are the cube sizes? How big? <laughs> they're going to be, they're going to be a good size, you know? Okay, so there's that. Then you have to kind of spin the board towards you and then very carefully along the side, Hope to God everything just kind of happens, you know. Anyways, uh, we'll see. 
I think there's a, it's a little uneven at first, but then as you kind of go towards the center, I think it gets a little better. Beautiful cubes. There might be a couple big ones that you just have to cut into and make it look normal. But other than that, that's kind of what you're going for size and portion wise. So we have a couple more to fit, um, to fish. Fuck. We have a couple more to cut. Fish and box. then <laughs> we're gonna put it into a bowl and then we're gonna drop the lime juice and the lime juice is what cooks it, cooks it essentially, the acids. So, cut. Okay. <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> Shut it down, Bruno. There's fish and it's cut up. And now we're going to pour some of the lime juice all over it to start the cooking process here. I'm going to try and save a little bit for the, for the veggies if I can. And I'm going to just take my clean hand. I'm going to just put my special hand in there. <laughs> my child, I made them by hand. <laughs> Like a scary movie, you know, <laughs> where he's like, just gotta stuff the turkey. I'm gonna put that clip in right here. Okay now, dig in. So you just kind of want to pack that down enough to where it's, everything's kind of somewhat engulfed in lime juice. <laughs> I planned for this. Okay, so you'll want to take some saran wrap, whatever it's called. And, uh, you know, fuck it. <laughs> One-handedly try and... Okay, there we go. Perfect. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So, I like to just kind of put it down in there. So that way it kind of helps keep it... I don't know. It keeps it packed in there. I, I don't have to explain why. Okay. Push it down, keep it all together. It takes about 30 minutes or less for it to fully cook. What you're gonna be looking for to see if it's actually cooked is if the fish is now white. So the white would indicate that it's actually cooked through and safe to eat. So we're gonna put this into the fridge and then we're gonna move on to the veggies, which is like my least favorite part because it takes forever to cut it up. So, all right, so. Welcome back. So while the tilapia is cooking in the fridge, we're gonna go and focus on our veggies today. So I brought out a new cutting board just to avoid any contamination. Oh, all right, so we're gonna take my favorite vegetable, the cucumber. I wonder why. Put that away. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do two cucumbers, I think will be enough, but technically the... <laughs> Technically, the recipe only calls for half a cucumber, but who only wants half a cucumber? You know, like, the girl wants the whole thing, okay? And sometimes we want to. Okay, I so anyways, you're gonna wanna peel this. Um, I generally do it over a trash can, but just for the sake of showing you what peeling is, you, ta-da, that, that's what I mean by peeling. Okay, so, um, <laughs> ladies, if you ever want to get your point across, <laughs> you just, you just chop up a phallic looking thing. Okay, so, uh, chopped off the ends here, because we don't need that, um, and then you're going to chop it directly in half here, going long ways though, okay? So, I don't really like having the seeds in my dish, um, you know, to each their own, so you just scoop it out with a spoon. So you spoon it and then you'll have a nice clean cucumber ready to chop up. So that's all we're doing here. Again, to each their own. I just, I don't want seeds in my dish. So there's that. Okay, so next you're gonna stack it on top of each other like so. And then again, you're kind of aiming for cube-like sizes. Maybe you might know a better method than what I'm doing. 
<laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there is a better method, but here we are watching me struggle. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna try and fuck whatever. You know what? <laughs> fuck this shit. <laughs> this is not working out. <laughs> Is it bad that I really have to poop right now? <laughs> like, like, I'm just like, come on, hold it together. Now that I've exercised the demon, I have exercised the demons. We're gonna move on to the next thing. Um, and I've switched up my drinks, cause now it's time to maybe drink. It's after the noon, so it's, it's three. It's after the noon. Mm. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and we're gonna get started on this onion. I do purple onion. You're welcome to do white, yellow, whatever the fuck onion you wanna do. But purple's where it's at, in my opinion, of uh, flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, chop this motherfucker. There we go. So um, I watched this video once by Gordon Ramsay on how to mince an onion, it was really helpful. By the way, any cutting techniques I'm using is because I Googled it, not because I knew because I'm not that smart. Okay, so I'm trying to remember how he did this though. Like, real talk. Uh, how did he do it? Did he? Two hours later. I think, uh, let's see if we went down that way maybe. Oh, there we go, maybe it's this way. I don't know guys, you know, hopefully by now at this age, you all know how to cut an onion. All right, so he like, went into it like that so we're putting these narrow cuts in from the root to the end you've already chopped off the tears are building we're uh we're getting there oh boy oh fuck you onion now you grip all this together and you want to do it little bit by little bit the thinnest but look at that look how much mince you get in one slice so I'm not that crazy that's a little bigger but I don't care I'm an onion fan this is so much onion okay so we're gonna dig for the goods here like I said we're not baking so we don't need to have it to the to the T on the amount that we're going to be incorporating. I'm almost crying, but not quite. We're kidding, we're getting there though. Oh God, oh, okay. Oh God, um, it's not cutting an onion unless you cry. <laughs> All right, so normally I like to get beefsteak tomatoes, but they didn't have them which is fine. We got, we got it on the vine, so that's fine. Get it? Man, how do I chop the tomatoes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut in half and hope for the best. <laughs> this is killing me. No, cause I like, I like to get the seeds out of this shit too. And cause I don't want no seeds in my, in my, in my dish. Now we're going to get into the spicy part of this venture. Um, so we're just doing the standard jalapeno today, but again, it's optional. You can obviously forego the spice or you can get real spicy. Uh, serrano, jalapeno, whatever, whatever your cup of tea is. So we're gonna go ahead and chop off the head and then you're gonna cut right down the middle here. And so, uh, next, I would get rid of the seeds if you don't want it to be too hot. That's, again, up to you. Um, so we'll just scrape that guy out, or you can keep the seeds and throw it in and have a good old time. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut it long ways, like so. I would say about three jalapenos is enough. And then we go ahead and chop and make it all nice. And try not to chop off your finger, mostly, most importantly. Go ahead and throw it into your pot and um, 
move on to the next half. And that's about it, folks. We're at the end. We will uh, be right back to show you the final mixing of the veggies and the fish. Stay tuned <laughs> for more. All right, so here we are at the final stage. We have our tilapia, which is looking really good. It's nice and white. Try and do a zoom here for you guys so you can see what I mean by it looking that it's actually cooked and ready. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda scoop the vegetables in slowly and kind of mix it in as we go little by little so we're not overwhelming ourselves also if you're not sure if you did a right ratio of veggies to fish a little bit goes a long way if you do too much you can't go backwards so yeah that's my fucking obvious cooking tip of the day all right so there it is it's all mixed together. Um, I like to keep the lime juice in there for at least a few more hours. You can drain it if you prefer. Um, I would say definitely drain it after the first day. So if you have anything left, then drain the rest of the lime because eventually your um, ceviche will start deteriorating like the fish because it's cooking and cooking and cooking. You will need some tostadas. So for those of you who don't know what the fuck that means, you take one of these flat tortillas you plop on the stuff you sprinkle whatever seasonings or hot sauce on there and then you eat it that's how you're supposed to have it but some people are weird and don't get that so that's how you that's how it's served so we will uh put a little snapshot of a beautiful picture of what it's supposed to look like anyway thanks for cooking with me i'm tired um <laughs> yeah uh, I hope this was entertaining. Uh, feel free to try making this dish. It's uh, not too bad. If you're better at cutting faster, then you probably, you're probably good. Definitely get the lime squeezer thing, save yourself some, well, I mean, you could just buy lime juice and really save yourself some time, but uh, let's, this is fresh. And yeah, anyways, I, I don't. Fresh is best. I don't know, fresh is best, right? Or, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Thanks, guys. Okay. Mine. There we go. Yeah. Excuse that nice. This is going on like a public thing. Let's, well. let's keep it. Let's keep it PG-13 somewhat. somewhat. Demonetize. <laughs> Obviously, if I shot on my finger and stuck it into the thing, it's not going to be safe for anybody. So, um, but we're not doing it that way today. Oh